Alrighty, what's up guys? Matt here from Loon Outdoors. So today we're trying to fly. This is a size 14. I do fish this fly in this size. Um, and today we're trying to fly, I call Maddie's Midge. And it's really just a midge pattern. The cool part about it is it was my, at the time, 7 year old daughter's fly tying creation. This is a size 14. I'm normally tying it let me see if I can press this into my thumb enough to show you. In about a size 20. That doesn't look fun to look at. So we're going to try, you know, tie the larger variant today. Um, so when my daughter started tying this, it was all based on colors. And uh, she goes, Dad, I like blue. Okay. So we tied a blue fly with, uh, that was her, that was her little design there. And I didn't care what she did. She was tying flies, and I was a proud parent of a little girl who wanted to tie flies. So she picked blue beads, blue wire, and this 315 hook. This is a 2.5 mil bead on here currently in a, in a blue. Um, and I kind of dig this. It doesn't match. So uh, you... OCD perfectionist types are going to be cringing, but uh, that's fine. You can cringe all day. Um, all I do here is we really just create this awesome little body, is what she did. And uh, she was using white thread. I'm using some Vivas 50D. Uh, she loves pens, so she goes, Dad, and we're going to make it black. Cool. Let's do it, sweetie. And she goes, it needs a candy cane. So we started using uh, candy as a reference point for how to create flies. And she calls ribbing a fly candy caning it. And that's just kind of stuck with me. I don't use it very often in public, but uh, it's her thing. So I just put a few wire wraps up and I'll just helicopter it off. A little more blacks needed back here. But uh, at this point, what we do is I'm going to go ahead and just hit the body first with some flow. And my needle's been really beaten up over the years here. But uh, you can see I just kind of coat it. So, and the, uh, the next fun little material that she likes is she loves iris thread. So, I kind of showed her that midges have a little bit of flash and, riff, you know, people do little hot hits of uh, flash coming off for gills and stuff. Well, that wasn't going to work for her. So, we just started tying, like, a little white spot. And I didn't know how it was going to work, but... Uh, on our tailwater here, which is the, the lower stack, it started working pretty well. And these midges will come off from a 14 to a 20 here. Doesn't all winter long we're just fishing such small, small flies that uh, it's okay. So she kind of wraps that on there and I help her do the whip finish typically, but we saved you guys from watching her tie it because she gets a little nervous still on camera. Uh, and we just coat it again with flow. I'm just going to kind of keep it rotating. And then we just cure it. And just this colorway, it's a real dark colorway, blues, stuff like that. It kind of stands out. It's got a little bit of flash. Um, and it's just a pattern that we've been fishing for a few years now, and we've been calling it Maddie's Midge. Um, change the colors up any way you like. Obviously, it's a very basic midge pattern. Um, but it was kind of her spin on a midge as a seven-year-old girl or eight-year-old girl. Forget how old she was when she tied it. She's ten now. Um, but uh, it's been kind of a staple in our box all winter long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.